woman are killed in a plane crash in Palatka, and now investigators are on the scene this morning. They're trying to figure out exactly what happened. The Palatka area has seen at least five planes crash recently, many involving smaller aircrafts. News for Jack's aviation expert Ed Booth is joining us live from the newsroom this morning. Ed, this is really a startling trend. You know, do you have any opinions as to why this seems to keep happening in Putnam County? Uh, good morning, Nikki. Uh, Palatka is a very busy airport with a lot of recreational flying. Recreational flying, of course, isn't as safe as uh, airline travel, and I think that explains it. All right, so in the video, we were able to, to get a, a, a decent look at the damage from this crash. I mean, it's, it's very severe, obviously, because it claimed two lives. A any indication when you were able to see that, maybe of what could have gone wrong? Uh, the NTSB will be looking at a wide range of possibilities, from mechanical failure to the pilot losing control of the airplane, but the crash uh, seems to indicate the airplane was not under control at the uh, time of impact. Yeah, it's certainly different than some of the other things that we've seen recently um, where the pilot has been able to, you know, bring the plane down in, in a certainly a different manner. What is the first step for investigators once they arrived on the scene this morning, Ed? Uh, first, uh, secure the wreckage, uh, transport it to an area where they can examine the mechanical components such as the engine, test the fuel uh, that was in the tanks. They will then look into the pilot's uh, background, how the airplane was loaded, uh, whether the pilot had any type of uh, substances in his system. It's a standard protocol that the NTSB goes through in every airplane crash like this. And, and timing-wise, how long does it usually take before we wind up with some answers? Uh, unfortunately, it's a, a long process, uh, probably a year and a half to two years before there are definitive answers. The NTSB will issue factual findings in three to six months. All right, Ed Booth, thank you so much for coming in and, and shedding some light on this. And we're going to continue to monitor this story, and we're going to continue to keep you updated. Obviously, okay, we're still looking you. to find out exactly uh, the, who the man and woman are that were killed in that crash. You can also find more information on this right now on news4jax.com. Just look for this story on the homepage.